Hi everyone, and welcome to the world of veterinary medicine. Today, we'll be talking about the coolest jobs a person could ever have. The people who help and heal the animals in our lives. If you love animals and think you might like to have a job working with them, you could become a veterinary, a doctor that takes care of animals. You have to have good marks in high school, especially in science courses. And then, it takes six years of study and training to become a doctor of veterinary medicine. Listen to this! Elephants can live to be about 70 years old. Despite their huge size and immense weight, an elephant's walk can be compared to the dance of a ballerina. Believe it or not, elephants walk on their toes. Elephants cannot jump because of their weight. Elephants don't really like to have more than one foot off the ground at any one time. Animals can get just as sick as humans, and, of course, they can't tell you if they have a cold or fever. And since animals are such a big part of our lives, taking care of their health is very important. A veterinarian in private practice has to be educated in a great many areas of animal health care. He or she has to know how to recognize and diagnose diseases from signs and symptoms, how to cure and treat illnesses, choose and prescribe medicines, and how to perform surgery and dental procedures. The job is never boring. Every day brings something new and exciting. And veterinarians are always needed, and in so many different and amazing fields. You can specialize in small animal care, like dogs, cats, birds, aquarium fish, and all sorts of house pets. As a veterinarian, you might even become involved in treating and caring for some heroic small animals. Another specialized field in veterinary medicine is large animal care, like horses, cows, pigs, and even ostriches, elk, and llamas. Veterinarians working with large animals give shots and vaccinations to protect them against certain diseases and often help them with birthing baby animals. They ensure that their animal patients are receiving proper food, nutrition, and that their environment is kept clean and healthy to prevent illness. If an animal does get sick, the veterinarian will do all they can to heal them. Marine veterinarians specialize in the healthcare of fish and mammals, like whales and dolphins, that live wild in the ocean. This is amazing! Dolphins can stay underwater for up to 10 minutes between breaths. A dolphin sleeps with half of its brain shut down and one eye closed. Aquatic veterinarians may work for fish farms to look after schools of fish for our food supply. They may also take care of fish in hatcheries used to restock lakes, streams, and oceans so we can protect endangered wild fish populations. And on a smaller scale, aquatic veterinarians are required to care for exotic hobby fish for home aquariums. And there are veterinarians needed for exotic zoo animals like elephants, monkeys, tigers, and kangaroos all involve very specialized care. Veterinarians are required by zoos, national parks, and for research in protecting endangered wildlife species. Listen to this! The stripe patterns on a zebra are like human fingerprints. Every zebra has a slightly different arrangement. Zoologists believe this is how zebras distinguish who's who in a zebra herd. A mom and her baby can keep track of each other in the large herd. The stripes also help researchers to track particular zebras in the wild. Since a lot of our food comes from animals, some veterinarians specialize in making sure our food supply, like dairy products, eggs and meat, are disease-free. They inspect animal farms, barns, living quarters, and food products to make sure the food we eat is safe and healthy. When I heard this, I could not believe it. Approximately 80% of all diseases affecting humans began in the animal world. Some examples you may have heard about. Avian or bird flu, mad cow disease, and rabies. 
There are veterinarians that specialize and study how some diseases, over time, can spread from animals to humans. In medical research, many veterinarians look after the health care and safety of animals used in the testing of new life-saving drugs and medicine. You can also become part of the animal health care team as a registered animal health technologist and assistant to a veterinarian. Just like a nurse helps a doctor, it takes two years of study to become an animal health technologist. In Alberta, the Alberta Veterinary Medical Association, or ABVMA, makes certain all Alberta veterinarians and animal health technologists perform their jobs in a skillful and professional manner. The ABVMA is over 100 years old! If you're interested in animal health care, ask to tour your local veterinary clinic. You'll discover firsthand the wonderful work performed every day by veterinarians and animal health technologists in caring for our friends in the animal world. When you're old enough, you might also ask to volunteer at the clinic or at your local humane society. During the past few minutes, we've told you about the many ways to become part of the animal health care world. It's a very rewarding and fulfilling job. If you study hard and love animals, you can become a veterinarian or an animal health technologist. Thanks for watching and good luck with your career.